Okay, so we'll start with <coughs> exercise 12.2, question in section B, question 4 and 5, clear? So this is the question given, okay? You look at this, a triangle and a parallelogram have the same base. They have the same base, is what you have to pay attention to, and they also have the same area. So, okay, read the question carefully, clear? They have the same base and the same area. Now, if the sides of the triangles are given as 26 cm, 28 cm, and 37 cm, and the parallelogram stands on the base of 28 cm, clear? Now you look at this. So you have the side 26, 28, 20, 30. So here you may get the tendency to just put it anyhow you want, right? You may put 30 here, you may put 26 here, or you may put 28 here, 36 here, right? Anyhow you want. Okay, what am I trying to say? These are the sides of a triangle, clear? So you can, you'll have this tendency to write anywhere, like not specifically mentioned. So you can put 26 here, 28 here, 30 here, or you can put 30 here and all of that. But be careful here. What have they given in the first part? The area, the triangle, a triangle and a parallelogram, they have the same base. Now they have given the parallelogram base is 28 centimeter. That means even here, the area of this triangle, the base is going to be, they have the same base, okay, and it is going to be 28 centimeter. Clear? Then you can just put 26 centimeter here and you can even put 30 centimeter here and name your triangle as A. B, C, and your parallelogram is D and E. Clear? Therefore, solution, what is given to us? Area of triangle ABC is equal to area of parallelogram B, C, D, E. Clear? Up to this much? Therefore, let us first consider triangle ABC okay we shall first consider this triangle okay so I'll go to the next page consider triangle ABC so now in triangle ABC what do you have you have AC is equal to 26 centimeter BC is equal to 28 centimeter and AB is equal to 30 centimeter. Okay, therefore, this could be your A, this could be your small b, and this could be your small c, which is 30 centimeter. Okay, therefore, S is equal to A plus B plus C divided by 2. So you get this as 26 centimeter plus 28 centimeter plus 30 centimeter by 2. Okay, so you take the addition of all of this, what do you get? You get this as 84 centimeter by 2, and this becomes 42 centimeter. Therefore, area of triangle ABC, this will be equal to Heron's formula which is s of s minus a s minus b and s minus c okay now what is the value of s here you have 42 centimeter your s is 42 the value of a is what 26 centimeter then 42 minus 8 centimeter right And then 42. Okay, I'll put, it, I'll put that a bracket outside here. Here, okay. So if you have watched my previous videos, I think uh, these steps should not be confusing, right? 28 centimeter, 42 minus 30 centimeter. Clear up to this much? Okay. Now let's go to the next slide. So this will give you. Okay, you take all the centimeters to the other side. This will give you centimeter to the power 4. Clear? So this will become 42. Now, 42 minus 16 will be 16. Uh, 42 minus 26 will be 16. 42 minus 28 it will be how much? 14. And 42 minus 30 will give you 12. Okay, there is no centimeter there again. I am making a lot of mistake here. Okay, so 
So you refer this and you see that is what you're getting. So finally, can you write this as? Okay, now see you be try to think slowly and try to do it rationally. So seven into six will give for you forty two. Now fourteen sixteen can I write it as four square? Seventeen I'll write it as seven into two, and twelve we can write it as six into two. Okay, there's a reason why we're doing this. Now let's look at this. Okay, now we'll easily get the answer. Okay, four square keep it as it is. 7 and 7, you can pair them up, so you'll be getting this as 7 square. 6 and 6, you'll be getting this as 6 square. And 2 into 2, you'll be getting this as 2 square. Clear? You can write this as centimeter square, the whole thing square. So you can start cancelling them, okay? So finally, you'll be left with 4 into 7 into 6 into 2 centimeter square. Alright? Okay? Now you take this uh, 4, 6 into 12, 6 into 2, 12, 12 into 2, 48, 48 into 7 gives you 336 centimeters square. Okay? Therefore, the area of triangle ABC is equal to area of parallelogram. What? What is the parallelogram? B C D E. Now, what is what did you get for area of parallelogram? Thirty three hundred thirty six centimeters square. What is the area of a parallelogram? Based into height. We know that, right? But what do you know? Additional. We also know that the base. Look at the question. Read the question. The parallelogram stands on the base twenty eight centimeter. The question is, we have to find the height. Okay. So now what is the base of a parallelogram? It is given as 28 centimeter into height. So you can cancel 1 centimeter from here and 1 centimeter from here. So you write this as 336 centimeter equal to 28 into each height. Okay, so you bring this to the left hand side. So this will become 28 centimeter. Okay, all right. So this becomes the height. Okay, so you divide it. Okay, twenty-eight into three, three six. Twenty-eight ones are twenty-eight. So what are you left with? Eight into thirteen, you're left with fifty-six. Twenty-eight times twos are fifty-six. So you cancel this. Twenty-eight twelve times are three hundred thirty-six. So twelve centimeter equal to height. So the question is to find the height of the parallelogram. Therefore, you can conclude this answer by saying, therefore, therefore, the height of the parallelogram is 12 centimeter. Okay? Play with this question. Now let's go with the next question, okay? So the next question is, a rhombus-shaped field has green grass for 18 cows. So what does a rhombus look like? A rhombus looks like, it's like a kite figure, okay? Like this, okay? Like this, okay? Alright? If each side of a rhombus, remember what is the property, remember the properties, okay? You can refer to your chapter 8. Clear, they have beautifully mentioned the properties. A rhombus has all equal sides. Clear, you can write this as not. Okay, that means rhombus has all equal sides. Okay, has all equal sides. Okay, clear with this. So, you see, that means all the sides A. Let me draw a better diagram, a bigger one. Okay, instead, not this. Okay, so let me just draw this as this is a rhombus clear okay i'm trying to draw but it's it's a b c d so they have given this as 30 meter okay all the sides are same so they have given if each side of the rhombus is 30 meter so just from here i can write it 30 meter now what have they given it's longer diagonal is 48 meters so the longer diagonal you see 
this compared to this is the longer one okay so i can write this as 48 meter now what are we asked to find how much area of grass field would each cow have so in the sense we have to find out the area of this rhombus why because the field is a rhombus shape clear with that the field is in the shape of a rhombus so we're asked to find the area of a grass field so we're asked to find the area of a rhombus clear so you can write the area of grass field okay you'll get this by finding out the area of triangle a d c plus area of triangle a b c okay now if we observe what do we observe triangle a d c and triangle a b c are equal why as they have same measurements clear with this okay you look at this you focus on triangle a d c see this is triangle a d c you look 130 centimeter 30 20 meter and 48 meter one side of a triangle is 30 30 and 48 now again focus on a b c a b c this is also 30 30 48 does not this two triangle have the same measure that means if i am able to find out the area of triangle adc then automatically that will also become the area of triangle abc so what can i write i can say area of triangle adc plus will be equal to area of <coughs> okay will become the area of triangle triangle abc okay all right okay here okay so where is it of triangle a triangle a b c okay therefore let us consider you can consider any one of the triangles let's go with triangle a b c okay triangle a b is 30 meter b c is also 30 meter and a c is also 48 meter okay therefore this can be my a 30 meter this can be my b 30 meter and this can by be my c 48 meter okay so s must be equal to a plus b plus c by 2 okay therefore this can be written as 30 meter plus 30 meter plus 48 meter by 2 so this will become 108 meter by 2 so this will give you 54 meter okay therefore area of triangle a b c is equal to write down the formula okay this will become s of s minus a s minus b and s minus c clear up to this much okay so this write down the values what is s in the case of this 54 meter so 54 minus what is going to be a a is going to be 30 meter 54 b value is going to be again 30 meter and what is c value going to be 54 minus 48 meter clear so you can finally write this as 54 okay meter four times one two three four so this becomes meter to the power four so if this will become 54 minus 30 will become 24 into 54 minus 30 24 into 54 minus 48 how much is it it will give you six clear with this S meter to the power four okay now quickly let's move on to the next slide okay so can you write 54 as 9 into 6 
and we can write this as 24 whole thing square because 24 is repeated twice into 6 meter to the power 4 now you write this as can I write 9 as 3 square because right now 6 is repeated twice so write this as 6 square into 24 square into meter square the whole thing square so you can just cancel them out okay cancel so what do you get you get 3 into 6 into 24 into meter square okay now this will give you 432 meter square therefore area of triangle <coughs> ABC is equal to area of what triangled ADC that means both of them we are e both equal to 432 meters square therefore area of the grass field what is it the area of the grass field I've already given you so you just have to do is at 432 meters square plus 432 meters square that will give you 864 meters square okay so this will be your answer okay for this question we'll do the remaining question in the next video okay all right okay uh wait okay yes how much area of grass field with each cup okay now last okay we're we're not done yet okay so see how much area of grass land okay all right so what did we get 400 864 right now read the question again how much okay that is this is the area of the grass field okay we have found that but what is the question asking how much area of grass field will each cow be getting okay and how much cows are there 18 okay so you can write this as therefore finally you can write this as okay that means therefore the area okay the area of grass field how many cows are there the grass field 18 cows will get is equal to 864 meters square by 18 so you divide this you'll end up getting this as 48 meters square okay so this will be your answer okay okay so all right so this will be your answer and then i'll be writing uh, i'll be giving you we'll be solving the next problem okay we'll solve the remaining questions in the next video okay actually that was my dog making it was whimpering okay so we'll stop it here